Hi, welcome everyone. This is Paul of Southern Adirondack Outdoors. Uh, we had a change of season, so it's, uh, well, it feels like summer, and even though it's still technically spring. Uh, yesterday was like 85 degrees out, and today's around 075-ish. Uh, today's April 15th, so make sure your taxes are in. <laughs> what fun, huh? But anyways, so the change of seasons, we got the snowblower off the Kubota, and got the skidding winch back on, and the forks on the front. And as you can tell by what's in the box up here, my little carry box, you can, I guess what I'm gonna be up to today. So it's nice to be able to get out in the woods for once and there's no, no bugs yet or anything, so it's very nice. Now, some of you may remember we had a storm come through, oh, I guess three years ago now. It seems longer, or it seems like a long time now. But uh, we still have quite a few trees that we're doing cleanup on. I'm going to turn you around here and show you one. Uh, you can see this cherry tree. It's a black cherry. Very tall. Not too big around, maybe oh, 12 inches or so. At the, where the two trunks split there. Each trunk's about a foot. But as you see, it's gotten uprooted. It is still alive, but it obviously won't be for too much longer. And it is also into those other trees, so it's not helping those trees that much. So I have about a dozen of these around the woods, in a similar situation. So we're gonna go up and check out another one and probably drop it and skid it out. This one, however, I'm probably gonna do off camera. You see this split going up here and how it sort of twists around to form the two upper, upper branches above the crotch, upper trunks that is. And it's the same thing on the other side, if we can get around here without tripping. Uh, looks dark on camera, but there's a split going up this side and it goes all the way down to the ground. So this one, I can't really cut one side and then the other, because uh, if I try cutting one, I'm be cutting into the base of the other and it's gonna be a little questionable, a little sketchy. And sketchy things I'd rather do off camera, less stress that way. All right, well, we're gonna jump in the Kubota and head up into the woods. Hey, you can see the lead on that one and the upturned root ball. Looks like it might be uh, trying to butt out up there, but I don't think it's going to this year, what it did last year. But as you can see, out of lean and it's gonna go right across the trail. Actually, it's probably gonna get hung up there. And there's one behind it, it's not so bad, but it is leaning and by that tear in the bark there, I think that's a goner as well. So we'll drop these two. Okay, I'm improvising today, I forgot the tripods find places to put you guys where you can see the action. Maybe a little far. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. Not too bad. Leaners are never fun. Let's see, it looks like a soft maple. Some, I finally got the black in the middle. It might be different, slightly different species. You can see this uh, limb here I got, that came down is from actually from this big old uh, basswood, I believe it is. It's starting to get a little questionable itself. I'm going to clean this up, fill the branches up to the side, and haul it out of here. Alrighty, well that came down pretty good. You can probably tell by the where the chokers are on there of where I'm pulling it from. In there and then two more up here. So I'll come through and cut it here. Not a huge tree, but make some good firewood.
right, we're back in the tractor. Probably sound a little tinny in here, but can't do this from outside because the controls. So, up she comes. All right. So I'm gonna take her to a landing and I'll bring it back up. Well, at least you guys didn't fall off. They're mounted up on top there. I was waiting for you to fall off and get run over by the logs. I was able to bring them in here and get them on top of another one so I can have a back up here. A good uh, height to cut at. All right, everybody. I got two of these logs marked up for firewood. These I uh, cheated and went ahead and marked them to 16 inch lengths. That's what the little uh, 194 is handy for. Because wait to the bar nut here is 16 inches, so it makes, a, makes for an easy measure. So I'm gonna block up these two with the 500. The bigger one I'm gonna leave for now. Uh, it may be a candidate for the mill instead of the firewood pile. So I'll make some cuts with the 500 and then probably put you on time lapse. And the wireless mic is running out of juice, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, time lapse time. Well, right, everybody, I think that's going to include it for this video. Uh, even though it's uh, feels like summer now, it's still technically technically spring, but uh, we have to think about winter too. Please be sure to like. Subscribe, uh, ring the little bell for future videos uh, so you don't miss any of these. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.